As I look around the house trying to decide what project I want to start, I am faced with this eyesore right here. And I think to myself, well, that's got to go. So I know exactly what I want to do to clean up that space and make it look functional. I'm thinking a built-in bookcase. Bookshelf? Book... Bookcase. Something like this for reference. Now, I searched to see what something like this would cost if we were to just hire someone to do it, and it's going to cost us upwards of about $10,000 to do. Like, no joke, $10,000. And since there's no way in hell I'm going to spend that amount of money on a project like this, I looked at it and asked myself, how hard would it be for me to just make it myself? But this project is going to take quite a bit of planning. Considering the fact that this is a space that we use often, so we can't just leave it like a construction zone. And we've never built anything like this before. So we're gonna need to do a lot of prep work and detailed planning. And some of you may know, I'm not the best at that. So Tim and I have had conversations about doing this in the past, but that was a while ago. And I think that it's time that we finally revisit that. You remember how we were talking about building a built-in bookshelf on that living room wall to finally have storage and put all of all of your away? All of my stuff? Yeah. And the dog stuff and the books and all of the other stuff? No, all of your stuff. All of the video game consoles, the PS3, Switch, the other Switch, your, all of the games your that Switch, you- Your Xbox, all your of Wii, the All of the games your you- Your dogs, teddies. All of the games you don't play. Yes, I remember you're, this bookshelf. You're shelf. Atari. Do you actually own an Atari? Of course, yes, I own an Atari. Jesus. Okay. Um, That's a collector's item. Thank you very much. So anyways, you know how we were talking about going in to build that bookshelf? Yes. Well, I'm wanting to start that project because that's... This is a mess? Yes. Yeah. You have created a... Okay. An Does atrociously my massive fault? mess, and I'm tired of looking at it. You just... All of your shit. All of your shit. God, give me strength. Oh, hey. What? I was thinking about finally doing that. Okay. So that being said, we never actually sat down and decided what design we wanted for that bookshelf. So I was wondering, I kind of want to draw up a version that I like, what okay. I was thinking of what it would look like, and then see what you were thinking it would look like. Mm -hmm. And then... Seeing how better mine is than yours. No. Yeah, we can do that. I'm telling you, mine's gonna be better. My drawing skills are not top tier, but. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. But yeah, see, we can see how much that. better of a design I can come up with to hide all of your. You can't steal my gag. That was my joke. You have to find your own joke. <laughs> you are you serious? But yes, we can design out the bookshelf. So we can, we can start doing it. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. All right. Good talk. All right. <clears throat> so this is what I came up with. What There's. Is this? What are those squigglies? That's just showing depth perception. I mean, you want, these are doors? Yes, so I'm thinking the bottom could be doors because that way we can hide all of your video games and like all of the stuff that we don't necessarily want on display. Um, mm -hmm. Hide it behind some doors. Um, could right. you do your version? Sure. So, this is what I was thinking. It's this part, It's pretty much the same thing. It's it's like squares, but then like Kirby's got to have a like put his doghouse in the corner. Okay. And then Reggie needs a doghouse because he sleeps in Kirby's doghouse all the time. Okay. I like the idea of having the doghouses built in, built into the bookshelf. Because I know I told you that that's something I wanted to do like months ago. Um, hey. So. So I'm glad that you at least listened to something that I told you. You didn't have um, it on yours. I, listen, yours I told has you. has no dog count. I'm not super sure about the bookshelves on the side being split into two, though. 
Like it's gonna be way too wide for that just to be one. Like visually, then we're just gonna have to have a lot of stack, sh stack shelves this way. You know right. I mean? Like it's so wide. It based, we'll make that decision if we split this up based on when we measure it. Okay, let's measure it then. Alright. What? This has your last name on it. It does have my last name on it. This is from me working on set. This is my... Okay, yeah. Um, I thought that this was a work tape measure. No, it's mine. So when I said, do we have a tape measure, and you said, go yourself. I, I said, what did you do with the last one that I gave you? It's a really it. nice red one that has a laser rangefinder on it. You can use that one. You lost that one. I didn't lose it. Where do you want to measure? <clears throat> we need to get wall to wall. It is about 153 inches. What? I'm just staying here. All right, so where do you want the TV to go then relative to the ceiling? You want to sit down and yeah. see if, how that looks? I, I mean, I think it's a little high just because like my head is tilting back this way to look at the screen. So I think we need to lower it. Okay, so I'm going to lower it. Tell me when you think it's good. Maybe like there? There? Okay. Okay, so where you like the top of the TV is 23 and a half inches from the ceiling. So now that we have a rough idea where we want the TV to go on the wall and the measurements and dimensions of where everything should be with the bookshelves, I think that we're going to have to go to Lowe's to figure out a price point on the wood to see how much this is going to cost us. Tim brought his tape measure. This is all particle board. Yeah, we don't need particle board. We need like the stuff down there. This is unlabeled. It's AC 1532. Ros Ro Roseburg. Thank you. That's very helpful. You know what would be a little bit more helpful is the price tag that's sitting right here. Why didn't you just look at that thing? It's, a, it's an air, AC filter. It's a $40 air conditioner. That's, that's a lot of money for an air conditioner. Okay. This is pine, I think, right? Because fur is pine? I think so. But doesn't that... It's still like particle-y board-ish. But that's put together too. I think that might be all that we get at this size because I don't know that trees come this big. But that being said, it's going to come down to like a couple of different factors. One, we're not going to live in this place forever. But two, we also don't want something that's going to bow so easily that it just f***ed up the whole project and that it becomes complicated for us to do. Yeah. It just says veneer faced plywood or block board of high quality is often a good choice for the simpler of less elaborate items such as a bookcase. I don't know what veneer, whatever it's called, it means. Veneer faced plywood. But everyone, based off of a quick Google search, I keep seeing online and Tim keeps seeing it too, that people are recommending using plywood for building a bookcase, which is significantly cheaper, which is great. Um, but then what plywood? Because there's like a million different types of plywood. Can we ask someone? Hi, Dad. You want to ask? Yeah. Okay. You're going to do the asking? No, you're the extrovert. I brought the tape measure. I don't have to ask. No, you can... Hey. What? I cut it on camera. Last time, I was the one that asked in Target. This is true. So you're going to ask. You're going to have a full conversation. You're going to make friends. It's going to be great. And you're going to be like, oh, okay. and you know, you're gonna be like, I need... And you're going to be like, Tim is so awesome. I'm going to rename my channel Tim's Re Re Renovations. Because he asks all the questions. If you could reserve that attitude for later, that would be great. No, you're gonna you're gonna make friends. It's gonna be great. So you wanna ask somebody or what? <sighs> okay. So we just found out what it meant, and it was the wood we were already looking at. The maple and oak stuff, yeah. How deep do you want it to be? Because we have to we have to miss that window. Do you know how deep that window comes out? Uh, I don't. But we're gonna have to check that measurement when we get home. Okay. So if it's like. What, 16? Does that seem deep enough? How deep it was? 16 inches or um, 16 inches. Yeah, that's what I just said. What? I'm loving any excuse to use a tape measure even though it's printed. Okay, you know what? I brought it. So you might as well use it. Um, <laughs> okay. 
But yeah, we need to look at the price point of the boards and then do some math at home. Yeah. But while we're here, I just need to pick up some things for a different project. So after I got home, I was distracted by the things that I had just bought for the bedroom. So here's that brief distraction before we get on with the video. Oh, this smells like dookie. I know that usually they make plant food out of like organic materials. So like normally like animal sh potassium, calcium from dehydrated poultry manure, chicken. It's made, it's made out of chicken. That's why it smells so bad. Some of my lamp stuff got here, or I guess you should say the remnants of this lamp stuff. I talked about this in my previous video. Um, I ended up ordering different grow lights just in hopes that these ones will be warmer in temperature than the one that's currently in there. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't look like a normal bulb. Maybe this is like a specialty grow light kind of thing, but it's got like these whatever this is. But here's the, ah, uh, it's a little bit warm. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know if you guys can actually see this on camera. I don't know if it's gonna come up, but this light is significantly warmer in color temperature than the other one. Yeah. I also bought a brand new lampshade to replace the other one that was there, and I think that it looks significantly better than the one that was there before. I mean, look how cute that looks. Okay, distraction over. Now back to the video. Could you make, could you make, uh, oops, my problem. Can, um, could you make a calculation of, I need to know how many boards we need to buy um, and like what cuts we need to make so that when we go to Lowe's tomorrow, we know we can pull out exactly how many boards we need and then we can have um, them make cuts. Can you crunch the biscuits on that? Crunch the biscuits? Yes. Okay. Crunch awesome. into the biscuits. Thank you. Of six and a half hours later. Do you have the numbers? <laughs> to get the most out of each board, I'm guessing. So we're going to need five because we're doing this part first, right? The yeah. bottom bit. How, Which many, is right how many will we need for the entire thing structurally? I right. think it's going to come out to be nine. Okay. Because these are, we're going to get more out of each board because these are only 16 inch depths. Reggie, I told you no bones on the bed, kid. I just kicked you off. <laughs> Reg, no bones on the bed. <laughs> so I think we can do the rest of it in like four, but the bottom bit, the bottom third is going to take five. All right. So based off of all of my calculations, um, we're gonna need about nine boards. What? Which is gonna which is gonna cost us somewhere around five hundred and fifty dollars structurally to put together the entire thing. That's not including like trim and like the doors and paint and all that stuff. But structurally, we will have an entire built-out bookcase for about five hundred and fifty dollars. I didn't say anything, bro. I can't do math for shit. that. Was not me. Now that we have detailed plans for the bookcase, along with the cuts we need and the cost of the materials, I am feeling much more confident about starting this project and finally getting this mess organized. Stay tuned for next week where Tim and I start the build out of this bookcase. If you're interested in videos like the one you just watched, then this video where I instantly transformed the kitchen with no experience might be worth a watch.